Hi everyone, welcome to Cap at Home. I'm Miss Rachel and today we are gonna make these cute little popsicle boxes. So it's really simple. This is, it's more simple than that. <laughs> so these are a couple examples. I made one with um, without a popsicle stick. So if you don't have popsicle sticks, you can still participate. We'll just use paper and I'll show you how to do that. And then I have a couple other ones with um, actual popsicle sticks. So what it is is an origami box that I'm going to show you how to fold up. And then we stick a stick on the back of it and we create the shell just from um, a sh one sheet of paper. So it's really simple. So let's get those out of the way and I'll show you the material. You will need two pieces of paper. Um, in this example, I'm going to use this construction paper but it does not have to be construction paper it can be computer paper which is what I used for this example this is just a colorful computer paper um, I would suggest that it's either construction paper or computer paper because I tried it with a thicker paper and it was really difficult to do so try to get something pretty lightweight you'll also want um, tape or glue I'm going to use tape okay I'm going to use tape in this example because it's just a little bit faster than glue, but glue will probably hold a little bit better. So in the areas where I use tape, you can use glue if you have it. We're going to need some scissors, and you'll also need something to draw with if you want to create drawings on the outside of your box. If you want your box to just be plain, then you won't need anything to draw with, but if you want it to be cute and adorable, you'll need something to draw with. So, we are going to start with a square sheet of paper, and if you have rectangular paper like I do, I'm going to show you a quick tip. If you have two pieces, then I'm going to lay down, oh, this isn't, I'm sorry, this is a different setup, so it's a little weird, but I have my paper laid down the long way, so the long edge is over here where my hand is, and then I'm going to lay the short edge of this paper down over here like this and line up these corners in the bottom and then the edges and that's going to show me exactly where I should cut this blue paper so that I can make it a square so that's just a quick little tip on how to make your paper square so I'm going to use one of my markers to just draw a line to remind me where I should fold this or cut it rather so I can make the blue paper a square and if you want to go ahead right now both of your papers don't need to be square only one of them needs to be square but if you want to square off the other one you could just flip it over and do the same thing make a line right up here So that's just a little quick tip you can use if you ever have two sheets of rectangular paper that you need to make square. So I think I'm going to make my box with the yellow sheet of paper. I've done a couple of blue ones already. So I'm just going to cut this strip off. And I might use this strip of paper later on because I used the strip on this paper to um, create this wavy kind of icing thing. So I might save this. But if you are not going to do that and you're going to draw everything on here, then you don't need this. You can throw it away. But I'm going to save mine for now. Just set it to the side. And I can set my scissors to the side. So now I have a square sheet of paper. And I'm going to take one edge of this paper and fold it over to the other edge. Okay, line those edges up and press it down. Get that crease in there. Now I want to open this up flat and I'm going to take both of my edges, this edge and this edge, and fold it inward to this middle edge. Or not middle edge, but this crease that I just created. So you want to take your time and do that. 
make sure that this edge up here is lined up because that's one way we can make sure that our folds are straight. So you don't want it weird like that. You want to make sure this edge is straight along this edge and the bottom one too. That's how we make sure these folds are straight. Okay. So really get your creases in there, use your fingertips, or you can use the back of your scissors to really press those creases in. Okay. Now I'm going to fold these folded edges in to the middle, the, kind of repeating the step that I just did. So. And this part will take a little muscle. So be patient with yourself, take your time, cause it does take a little muscle and a little patience to get it right. And then just fold this paper along the edge there. And since this is so bulky, you may wanna use the back of your scissors to go ahead and really get that crease in there nicely. Now we're going to turn our paper around and do the other edge. And I know that the struggle looks so real, but I promise you it's this setup that I'm trying to record on. It's not this difficult. You probably won't have this much trouble if you're trying to do this at home and you're not trying to record yourself. All right. Got that edge in there and I'm just going to go over my crease with the back of my scissors. Okay. So now we're going to take one corner and fold it up to the side here. And we're gonna make sure this bottom edge aligns with this side. And I will show you what I mean. You're gonna move your corner up to the edge and you're gonna line up this bottom edge with the side so that you get a triangular shape. And you'll wanna use your scissors if you're using them to crease down this fold because it's a lot of paper in there that we're folding so now we're going to open that up and then do the same thing to the other corner and then we're going to do the same thing to these two corners so I'm going to take this corner and fold it up bring this bottom edge to line it up with the side edge to create a point or a little triangle and I'm going to Crease it with my scissors. Okay, I'm going to open it back up and then go and do the last two corners. So these creases are going to help us form our box that we're really going to pull together in the next couple of steps. And if you are doing this with the supplies I suggested, you may need your tape or glue in the next steps. Some people's paper may fold in place and stay in place the way that it should or the way that you want it to. But if it doesn't, you can just put some tape on there and I'll show you what I mean because I'm going to tape mine down. You can tape it or glue it. Okay, so now we have all of our folds in there. And we're gonna open our paper up just a little bit. We're not opening it all the way up, not like this. We want these folds to still be in there, but we're gonna have these folded edges pointed up at us now. We're gonna take this narrow edge and push our two little points here together. And then we're gonna push this edge down into this here. I call it the canoe. We're gonna push it down into the canoe like that. Okay, and fold it in place. And this is where you may wanna add a little bit of tape because it does just kind of flip up like that. So when it flips up on you, you just wanna take a little piece of tape or you can put some glue on this side here, but I'm gonna use tape and push that back into place like that and then push the tape down so it stays in place. Now we're gonna go around to the other side and on our narrow edge up at the top, we're going to push these points together, 
but we're going to keep our hand inside of the canoe, which is this part here, and push the narrow edge into the canoe. And crease it down, fold it, and this edge is probably going to pop up again because I'm using this construction paper. It didn't do it as much when I used the computer paper, but so if you're using construction paper, you may want to add tape to the edge, have a little hanging off so it can attach to the inside, and then push it down in there and really seal it into place. And so now you have the inside of your drawer. So if um, at this point you want to go ahead and add your popsicle stick, you can do that. And mine are here. So I would just take this, flip this on the back, and glue this here. You want to make sure you have some of your stick hanging off the side because that's what's going to allow you to pull your drawer out. So you can do this step now. You can do it at the end. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to attach mine with some tape just for expediency's sake. But if you are doing this at home and you have glue, I would suggest using glue over tape. And you can use Elmer's glue for this. I'm not so sure that a glue stick would be the best for this. I think Elmer's glue would be better. So now that you have that, we're gonna grab our other sheet of paper and we're going to just lay it down on the table. I already made my marks from when I showed you how to make it a square, so I'm going to work down here at this other end and slide these materials out of the way up here so you can see everything. So you want to line up your box with the corner of the paper. You want to line it up with the bottom edge and the side edge. And you can use one of your drawing tools here to just make a mark up here on your paper so that you know where your box ends. And then you just slide this paper over and line it up to the corner on this side and do the same thing. So if you've watched one of my videos before, I normally do this with a ruler, but you know, I'm trying to show you, you know, quick tips so you don't always have to use your ruler. So now I have my two marks and I can either try to eyeball it and cut straight from one mark to the other or I can just fold it. So I'll just pinch this side where the mark is and then pinch this side. Anyway. And then I'll fold the paper. And then I have a fold to follow for my cut. I'm going to just cut this strip out. So if you're doing this at home, you really can see where the crease is. If you wanted to, you could even draw on that crease so you would know exactly where to cut. But, um... I think you'll be able to see it well enough without drawing on there. So now this is going to become the outer box for our popsicle. So now that we know how tall it is, you want to know where to make your fold so that it fits perfectly around here. So I'm just lining up my popsicle box with the edge of my page. And then I'm going to just kind of push my paper up and make a little fold there like that so that I have the fold that's um, on the bottom close to the table. And I want to really crease that in, so I'm going to move my popsicle box off to the side and fold my paper down. See, so I have that first crease. And now I'm going to continue to use the box that I just made to guide my measurements and I'm going to lift this edge up and fold it again along the edge of my popsicle box. Then I'm going to fold this paper, just really crease the fold. Okay. okay. So I started here and I got that side fold. Now I'm going to do this one at the top. Just going to kind of push it into place. 
and I created just a little bitty crease right here to help me see where I should be folding the paper. So if you want it to be super preci precise, you could use a ruler and make measurements to do this. And you know that is the way that I like to do things, but I want to show you guys that you don't always have to do them like that. So now I'm going to do one more fold that's going to create a flap where I can put my glue and attach this paper to this one so that it becomes the outer shell or the housing for my um, popsicle box. Don't fling your paper off to the side like that. So we have all of our creases in here now. And if you put it together and glue it along here and here, you'll create the box that your other box slides into. So this would be a good time to draw on here. So if you wanted to add a face or make it look more like a popsicle, you could do that. And I'm going to grab this little strip that I saved from earlier. So to do this wavy line here, I took my scissors along the edge and I cut outward and then inward, outward and inward. And I really kind of move my paper and my scissors to help me create a smooth wave. If you want, you could draw your line on there first and then cut based on what you drew. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in the trash or the recycle bin. And you can glue that right on top of your paper. And using a glue stick, I'm going to glue that down. And you want to make sure you are getting the edges of your paper so that nothing pops up once it's all put together. Okay. Got some glue on there. And if you're like me, you will probably need to wash your hands after this because you got glue on them. So we're going to lay our paper down. And I'm going to line up my bottom edges because they are straight and they will match. And that will make sure that my popsicle is kind of even-ish. So once I've glued my um, little wavy popsicle icing or whatever you might call this, to my outer box, I'm going to need to refold my um, paper, which is fine because you already have, you already know right where you have to fold it. So you're going to want to refold that and then you can go ahead and create your delicious popsicle toppings with your markers or crayons or colored pencils. And if you have stickers, you can use those. I found some stickers these here so i'm just gonna stick those on there because i'm sure you guys can draw your own things so i have some fun little stickers that i'm sticking on there so if you happen to have some at home you can use those on there Whatever you want to add to decorate this will probably work just fine. Okay, so I'm not doing a whole lot of decoration. I'm going to just show you how to glue this together here. So you want to make sure that this, that these um, edges look about even. And you might want to even try to slide your box in there to make sure you're not gluing it too tight. You could even just place it in there and put your glue on there. I'm going to use tape because that is the easiest thing. I'm going to kind of stick my fingers on the inside so that I can get a nice surface 
to tape that down. So tape worked best for me in this situation. Um, you can use glue. I did use glue on the other ones and it is holding well, I think. So that's that. So there's one more thing I want to show you. If you are to this point and you have a popsicle stick, you are done. But if you don't have a popsicle stick, I'll show you how to just make a little strip out of paper. So I'll just rip that off or stick it down so it's out of my way. And I'm gonna use my leftover paper from this box here. And you can cut a strip however wide or thin that you want it, but I would just use this whole piece of paper and fold it into a strip because the more paper you have in here the sturdier your strip will be so it will be a lot more like a popsicle stick and since I'm folding this paper and I want it to be sturdy I'm going to take the glue and just add some glue to the final edge here And then when I finish with this, it will stay together. There we go. So I just kind of rolled the paper on itself. And now to make this shorter, I'm going to fold this in half this way. And that way you kind of get this little cool loop here. And you can add some glue to the end to stick it together and then add more glue on top here to stick it to the back of the box. So I'm going to just take the back of the box and push it down on there. And since you're using glue, you will need to make sure you have time for it to dry. But once it is dry, unlike this one, it should go in there pretty easily. You may have to turn it over and push that down so that it goes in without catching on it, but there you go. Your own popsicle box. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you drop a picture in the comments so that we can see what you made and leave us a reflection. Let us know what went well, what we might need to explain a little bit better, um, how else we can help you. We are here to help. And make sure you are following us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube so that you can view our videos and get updates and see when we go live, when we go live. And you can also come back on Saturdays to find out more about the artists who are teaching you. So thank you so much for sticking with us today and watching Cap at Home. I'm Miss Rachel, and today we made popsicle boxes. Bye, have a great day.